what's up ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel if you're new please hit that thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you can get notified every time a new video is released on this channel if you want to check out more hood tours visit my philadelphia hoods playlist with over 200 plus tours covering all different neighborhoods in philadelphia pa all right y'all so right now we are back at it again with another 360 degree vr virtual reality immersive tour if you're new to vr if you're using a cell phone you can turn your cell phone all around you in any direction you can see different things in the video on my left you should be able to see this gentleman that's on a motorized wheelchair on my right you should be able to see this trash disposal truck pulling up we're passing a park we're on lehigh avenue in north philly we're in the fairhill neighborhood approaching lehigh and lawrence street i'm planning on walking to hunting park the hunting park neighborhood in the badlands I'm just gonna walk up there i want to show you guys what the neighborhood looks like we may even pass gary michael heinick's house that is located i believe on 3520 north marshall street gary heinick was i guess you can call him like a serial killer and or killer that was here in philadelphia pa um, he was relevant in the 80s they put him down with lethal injection in 1999 he was known for holding i believe like eight women captive um, he killed two and the others he tortured them raped them did things of that nature beat them and he even fed i believe due to documentation on the world wide web he fed one of the females bodies mixed it in dog food and fed it to the ones that were held captive so we might pass his house we'll briefly talk about him i don't know that much information but if you guys want to google him you can learn about him his name is gary heidnick he was born in ohio all right y'all right now we're on fifth street on fifth and lehigh avenue when y'all see these palm trees on my right hand side that's how you know you're on fifth street this is like little pr little puerto rico <laughs> we're gonna walk up fifth street i don't know if you noticed i took the mask off and figure so that you guys you get to see me i also got it at eyes view rather than having it up in the air just to experiment see that little civic that little eg driving by for all you honda enthusiasts We're crossing Lehigh Avenue on my left hand side. We got Speedway gas station. On my right hand side, we got the Conoco gas station. It's probably like a 54 degree day. I think it's supposed to get up to like 55 degrees. So it's gonna be a warm, sunny day. I'm expecting there to be a lot of activity out. Cars, possibly motorcycles, dirt bikes, bicycles foot traffic you know what i mean we're past the metro a chiropractic rehab center ase and visitor center watts fitness studio a sound alarms and window tinting business gaudenzia centro primavera if you look down this avenue right here is called centro de oro the center of gold that fifth and Lehigh, you look down, this is like following the trail of gold and the regular cement, not the yellow, but if you look down, the regular cement has flakes in it, like sparkly flakes. So in the sun, when you walk through here, it looks like it's, like it's glitter almost. It's like it's, like it's glowing, kind of like sparkly, you know what I mean? So I remember when I was a kid, I think I told you all about this in other videos, I used to follow that little trail. I think everybody, when it was a kid, they used to follow this trail, like we used to like walk through it like this you know what i mean but yeah we're passing several dozen businesses this is like a little business district for the locals you hear people beeping road rage and impatient here we go we hit another set of palm trees the palm trees i believe they run all the way up to clearfield if i'm correct give or take they run for about a period of five blocks or so up fifth street on only fifth street we don't have these palm trees anywhere else. I 
Right now I'm at 5th and Somerset. I'm gonna make this left hand turn on 5th Street. I'm gonna cross because I've been through 5th Street before, so if you watch some of my other tours, you see me walk through here. As you can see, there's a lot of traffic, a lot of people out, it's extra sunny. The sun is burning my retina, <laughs> burning my eyeballs. They got this Honda Odyssey, I'm about to just let them cross. About to walk over here, passing Raymond's nightclub. Got a couple homies out. In case anybody wanna say something that he can. You could look down, look at all the trash, you know, things of that nature. And all the walls is graffiti. So if you look like left and you look right, you see all the graffiti, tags, everything like that. Yo, yo, what up, y'all? Yeah, passing one of the corner stores. Grab your food, grab your snacks, grab your cookies, crackers, tobacco products, dog food. You get all that stuff from the corner stores. In this part of Philly, there's like corner stores probably every couple blocks. Like every two or three blocks, you'll see a corner store. Sometimes you'll see two corner stores on one block, one at each corner. Like literally competing back to back. I'm gonna make this right hand turn. We're turning up Somerset and Fairhill. Yeah, look on my right, you see all the graffiti. Sass, Tober. Sass and Tober been writing for a while in Philly. Sass and Tober, like, got a lot of reputation when it comes to Philly Graph. Sass, to my knowledge, writes with ESC. I don't remember what Tober writes for, but ESC is every second counts. It's like a squad. One of the most prominent squads in my era. I'm sure there's other squads out there. I know there's other squads out there that also hold weight and hold rep. But I know Sass. Yeah, it was with ESC. So we're going through a two-story residential block. As you can see, for the most part, this neighborhood has some well-kept houses. They're painted fronts, the bricks is painted. Some of them have aluminum siding, porches, awnings. You see that they're painted colorful, like lime green, peach, burgundy black um different colors some of them are faded too we got a lot right here no trespassing you hear, you hear a little chihuahua chihuahuas are the guard dog of the hood we got a little cat right here eating they just put his food out on the curb on my right hand side i don't know if y'all caught that they put his food out on the curb um to feed him i guess he was probably like a stray cat you looking a lot on my right there's a bunch of trash we got a rest in peace memorial right right there, guys. Just past the rest in peace memorial. We're now approaching Fairhill and Cambria. Fairhill and Cambria. We're in the trenches. Puerto Rican trenches, at least. You know what I mean? It's like the Latin hood. But just because I say like it's... You all right, Pop? Yeah, he over there bleeding. His whole forehead was like gushing. I don't know if somebody just probably ran up on him. Yeah, he was bleeding. His whole forehead was just like, just dripping. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what type of stuff that he got into, but I figured, you all right, Pop? He said something about tickle my thoughts. I'm like, yo, this old head right here got a nice collection of bikes. When I was a youngster, I used to come with one of my buddies, Chemo, from HCP, from Hancock and Cambria, and we used to go through and he used to look at his classy bikes. His second and third floor is loaded, like with vintage Schwinn's, all types of old school Fuji's, things like that. But um, yeah, check it out. This porch got nice little flowers, little pottery. You see, not every house has a porch. And then you see some of these lots. Some of these lots are still up for sale. Like if you go uh, to the Philadelphia Archives, City Hall, Go to like websites like OfferUp, Craigslist. You go to like apps like Zillow and whatnot. You can be able to get an idea of what the property value is. 
if there's any up for sale on the market via private seller and or agent because sometimes like an agent will you know sell it for them or you can negotiate with the private seller which in my opinion i think you have more leeway when it comes to the private seller because the agent i'm sure they're trying to make their cut you know what i mean they're trying to make their little little chump change all right we can go right go up reese we can go left let's go left i'm gonna go left right here we're gonna cross fairhill i believe right now we are currently on clearfield yeah we got this school on my right hand side i believe that's potter thomas elementary school but don't hold me to that i ain't never go there so that's why i said don't hold me to that but i believe that's potter thomas all right so we're on six and clearfield we got the 2900 block of sixth street to my left the 30 or 3000 block to my right we're passing a little corner store here i'm gonna make this right hand turn we're gonna cross oh it actually is potter thomas it says it right there potter thomas public school that spot on my left used to be a corner store now it's um and no relina menendez or melendez and associates paralegal service we had a big garage over there now it's an interesting story it's probably a sad story but i know a couple years ago i saw on the news there was um i think the like two or three individuals who pulled out a body from one of these windows i forgot which house it was i believe it was on this block though i think they happened to have probably killed a female and then they they pulled the body in a rug outside of one of the windows so if you look at the security camera footage or the surveillance you actually see a body coming out of the window in like a house carpet you know like the the you know 10 by like 20 carpets yep they play music across the street hopefully this doesn't come out too clear in the audio but as you can hear it's spanish music listen it's reggaeton now personally, I'll be completely honest with you. I'm of Spanish descent myself. However, I do not listen to that. I do not partake in that activity. <laughs> Look at my left hand side. We got a banner on the side of the building that says, Jesus, I trust in you. We're at Mayfield and 6th Street. We're actually, no, we actually weren't at, at Clearfield. We were at Indiana, I'm sorry. I apologize. Clearfield was one block up. But we're gonna make this right right here. This is clear field. My bad. But right here, there's also some more CCTV footage of a shootout. It's on the Philadelphia Police Authority or Philadelphia Police District uh, YouTube channel. Right here, there's a shootout from like, I think it's like six, seven years old. They killed somebody out here. Yeah, this is like a little rough area. There's a little memorial right here on my left hand side love you forever and always candles and everything teddy bears flowers they're yeah, sad sad that like you know what i mean that young people end up taking out young people we end up taking out our own population all right so we're about to go up marshall we're passing wendell street wendell We'll go to Marshall, see if we can get to like the 3500 block so I can show y'all what that looked like. Maybe we pass this house. I don't know what this house looks like in 2021. But I believe we're going to make this right on Marshall. We got another grocery store. It's called La Dominicana Grocery. We're going to make this right hand turn. We're going to go straight up Marshall. Yeah, but I believe if I'm correct, he even started his own little religion started his own religion where i think in the beginning he had like five followers i don't know how it turned out but i know he ended up being very successful amassing about five hundred thousand us dollars and he started i think an account with like 1200 us dollars something small but at his prime i think he had about over five hundred thousand us dollars back in 88 or 86 85 87 so in the 80s mid 80s and if you make that equivalent to today's time to today's technology or today's inflation that would be equivalent to over one million dollars so you're talking about one million dollars or so 
that he amassed from a church. Yeah, I'm going to let these young boys play ball. I don't really want to get in their way while they're playing ball. But that's how it is when you're in the hood. You just try to find some things to do, some time to kill. Some blocks have a court that the block shares. Everybody plays on the same court. They pull it out like one of those Walmart courts, those cheap courts, you know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about, right? Or some spots, I remember when I was young, when we used to play, we used to play with the crates. We would take like a milk crate and we would screw the milk crate up to a pole or we'll screw the, the milk crate up to like, if there was an abandoned building that had wood covering the window, we'll screw the milk crate to that, then we'll play ball. Or we used to also use a trash can. Oh, we got a little Waggle van, the Honda Civic Waggle van, 1988 through 1991 platform. As you can see, when you walk through, we got Texas, Game, Docks, ST, and names. We got a lot of graffiti tags, graffiti names, hands. All right. Well, Marshall cuts off. It starts again in uh, like three or four blocks. So we just gonna walk, walk, talk, walk, talk, walk, chat. I'm gonna show you guys this old classic accord they got here. The reason why I'm showing it to you is because I actually got. The only other one in Philadelphia, PA. A 1984 Honda Accord, which is the second generation Honda Accord, meaning after the first design they ever came out with, they released this model. This is the second gen, that's why they call it the second generation. It's right here on my left hand side. It's a hatchback, or you can call it a notchback. See, it's gray. I got the same exact one. His is a hatchback, mine is a sedan, a four door. I have yet since I own that Accord for a couple years now, have yet to see another four-door sedan in Philly. Now that's the thing about me. I like to collect vehicles that aren't as common, that you don't see everybody with. Cause you can see everybody with a modern car. Modern cars are easy to get. You got good credit, you can lease it, finance it. You can cash out on a used vehicle. They're more common. But I like the obsolete vehicles, the vehicles that you don't see every day. That's one of them. And when I saw that one, look, look, look at the photos, rice. When I saw that one, I was like, I was excited. Cause for a while, I wasn't expecting to see any until I saw that one. I was like, yo, I was hype. I mean, some people might look at it and say it's ugly, you know, but I like the 80s cars. I like the older cars. I like some like 90s. And maybe like some like early two, 2000s. 2000s are cool. Like 2000 SI Civic, you know what I mean? But I don't really, I don't really like um, the modern ones, like the mid 2000s or the late two, 2000s, like, you know, 2020, 2021. I mean, it's a vehicle. I'm not gonna say, you know, if they gave me one, like I wouldn't take, take it, but you wouldn't see me invest in one. We're on 6th Street again. We got a dirt bike right here. He was on like a 125. Look at this little, what's this? A Fiat with busted windows. Fiat got busted windows. But yeah, we walking up 6th Street. We just went by 6th and Allegheny. We did like a little zigzag because I'm not trying to only take you through main streets. Like I could take you through main streets, but I'm trying to do my best to like zigzag so y'all can see a little bit of activity. You know, it'll like vary from like different area because like the main avenues you can go quickly go straight through a area and not see nothing in the hood you go through the little teeny blocks you'll see the activity so i'm trying to mix it up for y'all you look down you see plenty of trash if, if that amuses you any you hear a lot of music in every neighborhood we go to you hear some type of radio we're at six in westmoreland a block away from the infamous 5th and in Westmoreland. We got a brilliant mini market across the street. We got a little tire, flat fix shop right here. Got plenty of tires. Like in the hood too. In the hood, if you want tires, I'm sorry, a lot of music, losing my train of thought. In the hood, if you want tires, you could go to like a new tire spot. You know, we got brand new spots. We got 
the pet boys we got the tire racks we got all those spots that sell brand new tires we also got a spot called trinidad's which is owned by dominicans which is pretty popular and they expanded really well they started off with one, with one location we got their bikes and then they ended up going to like three locations so they got about three locations right now but like they like they moved up they might even have four i won't be surprised if trinidad has four locations but long story short there's a lot of used tire spots in philly where if you need a tire real quick you can obviously get like a plug a plug is like anywhere from like five to ten bucks depending on what flat fix shop you go to but if you want to use tire you can get used tires in philly anywhere from like 25 35 bucks to about 55 bucks a tire 45 it depends on the tire the size and whatnot but i can't speak for like the country i don't know if you know other areas suburban areas have used tire spots i don't know if they only have to go to a new spot to buy tires but we have plenty of used tire shops in philly like every couple blocks especially in like the spanish neighborhoods or like the african-american neighborhoods oh we got this old school toyota point eight on my right yeah and he ain't even had tags on that joint you see that joint made me smile i like that joint that was an old school wagon the 80s toyota 1.8 Cor corolla and i'll be honest with you i'm not a big toyota fan i'm not a big toyota fan at all i don't really like toyotas i like, like the toyota supra the toyota Cor corolla the toyota corona the toyota there's several other old school toyotas that i like but those bodies right there the 1981 82 83 84 85 86 i think up to like 80 788 i think that's when the body changes i don't know i know there's like two different generations within the 80s that i like but the the new ones i'm not really a big fan of the new ones but a lot of people like them especially here in philly all right we got a little used car dealership on my left easy pass auto sales on my right we got la pierre inc they actually shot a a and e tow war segment here in this little parking lot there was an a and e show many years ago like i know many of y'all probably know about the philadelphia parking wars well we also had a towing show that was shot here and i actually worked with the director who ran that show on a separate period of my life doing an internship with him of backseat conceptions backseat conceptions was the production company that shot that for them well anyway that show was shot right here on this location so the little synopsis of the show was all the tow trucks were just racing to get to the accidents first and then obviously you throw a little bit of controversy in it so like they would argue they would argue about who who would 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 take what tow first because you know they get money based on the tows and sometimes three or four trucks will arrive to a tow so it's like you know what i mean and they they spicing it all up you know with the editing and all of that to make it seem like like it was like um you know controversy but you know controversy sells so that's an interesting fact all right so we're in the 3400 block of marshall you'll be able to see i think the next jar is where mr gary was mr gary Heinick. yeah he also had like an underground dungeon like a layer yeah June 215. You want to give anybody a shout out? Nah. All right. He said, nah. Yeah, trying to see if he wanted to give somebody a shout out. Give him the plug in case he want to shout out their fam. Huh? 20K. 20. 20K. Yeah, so I think he asked me how many subs I got. I said, <laughs> About roughly like 20, you know what I mean? 20 or so. I know we slowly grow and we slowly growing at a steady pace with God's will. Oh, there's a BR a voice speaker sitting right there. A BR, a bass rocker. It's for voice, a vocal speaker, an eight ohm voice speaker. Four ohms and all, and below is usually like bass. Eight ohms and 16 ohms is usually high. All right, right now we're on Tioga and Marshall. We passing the Dragon Gate. 
I'm gonna get on my left hand side because to my knowledge, Mr. Heidnick's house, we're crossing Marshall. To my knowledge, Mr. Heidnick's house was probably, let me see. I said it was 3520. Was it 3520? Which side is 20? All right, we're on 20. No, well, we're on the side where 20 would be. We're at 3506. So 3508. So this is his block at the time when he was committing these crimes. And he had them women hostage. Like he kidnapped them. He was married. He had children. I think he had children from different women. 3514. 3516. 3518. So right here on my left hand side would have been 20. Right here on my left hand side. That house right there. On my left hand. That was Mr. Heidnick's residence. And yeah you can find documentation you can find even videos of one of the survivors and i think they did a recent update interview with her a couple years ago and how she felt you know she was talking about the stories and everything some people say she was like an assistant some people say you know she only had to go with it because she had no other choice but yeah they were saying um that he also used to make his wife I mean, he got married at one point he would make his wife watch him fornicate with other women and all types of stuff. He was in the military. His excuse, I believe he pled insanity. Like his his attorney um, gave him the insanity deal because they were trying to say because his pop used to beat him. His pop used to abuse him. Um, he used to wet the bed when he was a youngster. His pop would take the wet bed sheets with his stains and his pot will put him out in the window and like you know what i mean I'll make this left right here on venango marshall and venango since we already went through hiding his block but he would take like the sheets that were white with all pee and he would hang them on his son's window so when the neighbors would go by the neighbors would actually you know even the kids would see it and then bust on them and you know a lot of trauma look there's another rest in peace one right here on my left hand side Another rest in peace memorial. We don't walk through what, like three, three or four rest in peace memorials. And I'm sure it's because I passed a couple blocks. We could have walked through a couple more. And I haven't really been focusing on rest in peace memorials. I've just been zigzagging, trying to get you guys like a little mixture. Look, you got a lot of trash here. It's not dumping. That's people trying to put stuff out for the trash truck to take it. And the trash truck ends up not taking it. <laughs> so you gotta bag it up the proper way. We got the king of uh, meat three sandwiches right here. Red 7th and Venango. Uh, I can go that way. I'm going to go straight. Go straight. Probably show y'all. So if we keep going that way to my right hand side, probably another two, three blocks. This is like the Hunting Park neighborhood. Hunting Park. If you're from the hood and you're from Philly, you know a lot of people say Huntington Park. It's not Huntington Park, like Westminster. It's not Westminster. We got a street here in Philly called Westminster or Westminster. You see, being from Philly and it just being so common to just, you know, say Huntington Park, we would just say Huntington Park. Yo, you trying to meet up at Huntington Park? Yeah, let's meet up at Huntington Park. Now, Huntington Park, as you can see, I just messed up again. Hunting Park, like you're hunting, like you're in the woods hunting, that's the name of it. Hunting Park is number two the neighborhood we're in right now is number two worst neighborhood in philadelphia pa based on crime stats of 2020. that has to do with murders um, robberies thefts you know i'm assuming rapes domestic violence cases all types of cases they collect the data from the philadelphia police department and they compile a list that's how that list was made um I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. No, in fact, let me take you guys through this little con construction thing right here so y'all can see something. You know, see how people gotta work. You see, these people are, I'm assuming they're union workers, so they get paid pretty good money to come out here and break open the streets and do city work. However, they gotta work in this, this neighborhood. Like I just said, it's number two worst neighborhood when it comes to crime. They gotta work in the neighborhood. They got no choice. You know what I mean? So, you will basically. You know have to close off the block you will have to sometimes they disturb the residents the residents end up getting frustrated getting mad you know what i mean but they have no other choice but 
to deal with it, you know what I mean? Imagine, imagine you're inside your house and you're trying to watch TV. Or imagine you're trying to put your baby to sleep and you hear that, imagine that. You're trying to put your baby to sleep and you hear that. We're passing, yeah, yeah, grocery store. I'm gonna cut this way, I'm gonna cut around. We'll end up in the Tioga section a little bit. And then I'll probably cut straight back to the Hunting Park neighborhood. I just wanted to show you this neighborhood because when I was 16 years old, I'm 32 years old now. I'll be 33 in a few months, shortly, very shortly. 33 years young. Um, when I was 16, I uh, was 15 to 16. I was like searching for like faith. I was searching for religion. I was searching, you know, one of my first tattoos was on my neck. I had a question mark put on my neck when I was a youngster because I had a lot of um, questions about life. Why well, I lost a lot of people. I lost a lot of loved ones to gun violence in the city of Philadelphia around the year in 2006 when we were crowned Philadelphia, which is nothing to be proud of. But I was going through a lot of stress and a lot of problems and confusion. And I was like learning about different faiths and I researched into several different faiths and i ended up ooh, a penny sorry y'all i'm about to put y'all on find a penny pick it up all day long you had good luck and it's on heads it got to be on heads and you got to pick it up with your left hand and you got to wink and you got to sneeze and you got to nah <laughs> i started fibbing around the time when i said wink but it's just a little stupid superstition we had when i was a kid but hey another penny in my pocket i just made a penny for this walk y'all but that church right there across the street is called Iglesia Nueva Jerusalem. It, it's a Pentecostal John that I used to go to back when I was a youngster. Um, Pentecostal is, I believe, one of the denominations in the Christian faith. It's like a little corner building. I used to go to that John back when I was a little pitch squeak. Yeah, it, it was actually for like a good, I would say, I would say anywhere from like three to five months of my life. I was in high school, I was exploring faith. And that's where I was at. I went there and it worked for you know a good period of time. We're next to the 3500 block of Hutchison. I'm gonna go straight. I can make a right. There's a junkyard over here where I shot a music video for Sanchez, AKA Goody Guns, a Latin male artist in Philadelphia, PA. Super duper lyrical, super lyrical. If you're into hip hop and we're walking down Hutchison right now, there's a lot of trash graffiti around me, so feel free to look around. If you're into hip hop, I know a lot of people don't like hip hop, but if you're into the hip hop culture, and, and I'm allowed that motorcycle to go by because I'm going to be screaming over it. If you're into the hip hop culture, and we're passing Schiller Street, you like rap, you like lyrical rap, you like rap with storytelling, you like rap with context behind it check out goody guns a lot of his older work is under goody guns but g-o-o-d-y g-u-n-z really intelligent dude dude like his his bars his lyrics his delivery his energy awesome he's from philadelphia pa he's actually this is his neighborhood he's from around here and um i shot his music video over there yeah I shot his music video inside that junkyard at night we set some trash cans on fire and all that stuff it was a uh, it was a pretty cool shoe it was a couple years ago like four four years ago probably you look down you look on my left you look on my right look down you'll see plenty of trash you'll see plenty of trash oh uh, we got a tall boy a tall can yeah tall a uh, tall boy is a spray can like a tall spray spray can there's usually the normal sized ones and then there's the tall ones I call it a tall boy. There's a wallet there. One, wonder if it has any money in it. <laughs> but I wouldn't want to pick it up anyway because I ain't got no hand sanitizer on me. So pick up a wallet from the ground and then it end up having some type of bacteria germ on it. And then if I scratch my face or something, I get that on my face. But look at my right. Speaker boxes, ant boxes. Like people worked on their car here and then they threw the trash right here. Now a lot of this is dumping. This isn't normal. You see right here on my right hand side. A lot of this is dumping. We're on the 3400 block of Hutchison. Right up the block from right here, I actually shot a music video right here. And also, one of the Philadelphia comedians, he was popular many years ago, I don't know, I haven't followed him lately. 
I know I went to high school with him, but I'm not on any other social network anymore other than YouTube. But his name is Scat. I got you cracking the F up. He was on the news here in Philly for like one of the gags that he did. He ended up on the news, on Fox Philly and all that. This is where he shot, I believe, two or three of his little skits. He's a comedian, an entertainer, comedian. Also shot a music video for him too, called Poppy Store. Yeah, this is one of the little blocks that he would use. Right up there, there's like a train track overpass. I could take you up there, but I don't think you guys are gonna see much life over there, you know what I mean? So, I'd rather just probably cut back up, go back to the Huntington Park, or Hunting Park section. You see how it comes off natural? To say Huntington Park. Yeah, shout out to my, to my youngin, Y Rico. This is his hood. Yeah, I'm not gonna put out his coordinates, but this is his hood. He's a YouTuber, so y'all can check him out. All these people that I'm naming, Goody Guns, I got you cracking the F up. Or you can put Scat Karaz, Y Rico. All these people you can YouTube and find their channel and subscribe to them. They're locals from Philly, from this you know area. We still got some leftover snow here on the left hand side. But look how nasty it looks. Look how dirty, sludgy. Like you definitely don't want to eat that snow. Forget yellow snow. That snow right there is toxic. <laughs> you don't want to eat that snow. All right. So I'm going to make this right hand turn. We're on 10th and Ontario. It's going to go up 10th Street just because I feel like we're going to cut back up and I end up back probably like 9th Street. Passing what looks to be a social club. It's called Sweet 215 Social Club. Just walking and talking. Walking and talking, talking small talk, you know. It's always good to have a little bit of small talk. I like this older pickup truck. Again, it's a Toyota, that's another one. Basically, remember I told y'all that I don't really like the, the modern one, the modern Toyotas? Same thing with the trucks. Like the Tundra, I mean, it's a beefy truck, but I'm not a, a huge fan of it. But I like the old school Tacoma. I like the old school, the 4x4 Tacoma, the Toyota Tacomas. I think they're pretty neat. Look, we got an Acura. Is this a TL? TSX with some Honda Accord stock sport.